the smallest home on the market in more than 10 years is up for sale in Cupertino. It's at the end of a cul-de-sac on Carmen Road, and get this, it's about the size of an average American hotel room, but it's listed for $1.7 million. ABC 7 News reporter Lena Howland explains why. This is what $1.7 million will get you on the western edge of Silicon Valley in Cupertino, a cozy 384 square foot home, which is a little more than the average size of an American hotel room. It's location, location, location. But the house might not be what people are paying for. Instead, it's the potential of a 7,800 square foot lot. There's one thing that, that we don't make anymore, and that's dirt. Residential real estate, particularly in the San Francisco Bay Area, is um, it's unique. It's unique because you know there there are so few choices for buyers these days because um, sellers really like to live here. The home up for sale is at the end of a cul-de-sac sandwiched between homes worth around five million dollars, according to Zillow. This home has a lot of interest because of the lot size and the neighborhood. Cupertino is really well known for its school district and great schools. Maxwell Duclo is the buyer's agent. He says it's the smallest house that's been up for sale in Cupertino in more than 10 years. I imagine like a, like I mentioned earlier, like an investor or a builder would look at the opportunities that this uh, property has and, you know, build a nice 32, 36,000 square foot home and then end up selling it for like, you know, four or five million dollars. I was actually looking at the home um, for the lot, and so it was really attractive from a price per square foot standpoint. I think We bumped into broker, contractor, and real estate developer Kevin Chow, who stopped by for a tour. He says the price tag didn't phase him. I, I wasn't surprised by it. Um, I thought it was a little bit low. Um, so I think it will sell. If it does sell in the first week, it might sell for a little bit more. Chow later let us know that he opted not to put an offer in after finding out the home already had six offers on Wednesday, the highest more than 300000 over asking at around $2 million. Is it realistic? I guess we'll find out when the property sells. In Cupertino, Lena Howland, ABC 7 News.